What's going on guys and welcome back to the Wax Mode Automotive Detailing Channel and no, I'm not going to be washing any dishes today on camera but instead I'm going to be running a wax removal or a wax stripping test using the new Dawn Ultra Platinum Power Wash Dish Spray. And so I was cruising through Walmart the other day and I saw this sitting on the shelf and it was just under $5 and I couldn't resist picking it up. Now Power Wash here is going to be a spray wipe and rinse formula. So you're going to be spraying this directly onto the surface that you're working on. Uh, you're not going to be diluting it into water as you would a standard dish soap. But for this specific test here, I'm actually going to be using Power Wash wet. So I'm going to take the test panel that I've applied the wax to. I'm going to rinse it down. I'm going to leave the water on the surface and then spray Power Wash directly on top of that. Then I'm going to take a damp microfiber towel and work Power Wash into the paint a little bit and then rinse it off. And I'm also going to pull out Dawn Ultra 3X soap. I'm going to compare this side by side with the Power Wash so you guys can see the performance difference. And the wax that I'm using for this test is Zymol Carbon. This is a Carnuba based wax. It's very hydrophobic in the short term and that's going to make it easier for me to determine, you know, a performance loss when I'm trying to strip it from the surface. And I've prepped the tested using Menzerna 3800. This is a light finishing polish. I use that with the dual action polisher. I followed that up with Clean Strips Mineral Spirits to remove any of the polishing oils left behind from Menzerna. Then I applied one coat of carbon to the entire test panel. And this first rinse here is 18 hours since applying that coat of wax to the surface. So it's got plenty of time to sit. And you guys can see here the hydrophobic behavior on carbon is absolutely fantastic. And Zymo waxes across the board will give you some amazing hydrophobics in the short term. And so with the water still on the surface, I'm gonna take power wash and spray down just the right half of the hood. And on the left half, I'm going to wash the paint using a two ounce to one gallon dilution ratio of Dawn Ultra 3X soap. And you can see on the bottle of Power Wash here, it does have a funky looking sprayer top on it. This looks to be a foaming version of the Flarisol sprayer. And I'm sure this thing works great for washing dishes. You're not going to be spraying it that much, but I've already bent in the bottom portion of the trigger on the sprayer. It just makes me want to punt this bottle across the entire neighborhood. But I've thoroughly saturated power wash into that section of the paint there. Now I'm going to take a, a damp microfiber towel. I've fully saturated this towel with water. I've wrung it out to about 75% dry. Uh, and now I'm just going to go over the paint and work power wash into the surface, agitate it into the surface to allow the cleaners to actually get in there and try and dig through the wax. And I'm not using a very heavy pressure at all behind the microfiber towel. A normal amount of pressure and working this in back and forth is going to be able to get the job done. And for those of you who are familiar with my other testing videos, you know, anytime I'm using a stripping type of product like Poor Boys World Strip Down, uh, I'm going to want to agitate that into the paint. I'm going to want to work it in with the wash mitt or with a microfiber towel. Uh, and agitating it in is going to greatly improve the product's ability to really knock down that fresh wax or sealant that's on the paint. And so that's going to be much more effective than just spraying the cleaner onto the surface and then rinsing it right off. And I'll show you guys that later on in the video. Uh, I'll take a section of Zymol Carbon, I'll spray it with Power Wash and just rinse it so you guys can see the difference in the strength and the power of the stripping or knockdown ability of Power Wash when you actually agitate it into the surface like this. But you can see with this rinse here, we have absolutely knocked down Zymol Carbon wax to a significant level. And so this Dawn Power Wash definitely has some serious cleaning power to it. And it's always going to be debatable of whether or not we have fully removed or stripped the wax from the surface of the paint. When we're observing by water behavior alone, it's difficult to speak in terms of being absolutely certain of full removal. And so that's why you hear me using terms like knocking down the wax or knocking down the protection. The difference in the hydrophobic performance before we apply the cleaner on top compared to afterwards. Uh, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm pulling out the Dawn Ultra 3X formula. Uh, I have a two ounce to one gallon dilution ratio inside of the bucket. So I'm going to grab the microfiber wash mitt in there, wash just the left half of the hood and show you guys the difference in the performance between how the, the wash method works with the soap compared to the power wash on the right half. But this idea of using Dawn dish soap as a dedicated wax and sealant remover has always been a very polarizing topic. You've had a lot of guys out there that have had success on older waxes and sealants with Dawn being able to effectively knock it down. But for me, when I'm testing new products out in the short term, I, I've just had such little success using any style of, of stripping soap, whether it's Dawn, whether it's Atom Strip Wash, Chemical Guys Clean Slate. You know, these products don't have the strength to really tackle into fresher protectants and stronger protectants. And even with some older, more weathered waxes that I've placed through different durability tests, using something like Dawn Dish Soap to try and strip them off from the surface, I'm not getting anywhere near the knockdown effect that I would want. 
But look at how easily the Zymo Carbon Wax is able to resist the Dawn Ultra Dish Soap on top. It's just not going to have any ability to cut into the wax uh, and knock it down to any degree. It's still extremely hydrophobic. And so this is why I've never recommended the strip wash style of soaps to be used as your dedicated wax and sealant remover. Uh, they could be good cleaners. They could be stronger soaps than a typical uh, car wash soap. But as far as using them to specifically try and remove old protection from the paints, I'm not going to be using them from that task. But these sprays like this Dawn Power Wash and products like Poor Boys World Strip Down, these sprays have a much better ability to knock down even fresh protectants from the paint compared to any of those strip wash style of soaps. So what I'm doing here in the video is I've got the microfiber drying towel out. I'm checking to see if there's any heavier surfactants left behind from the power wash. And there definitely is. This is a, a very heavy style of spray. It's difficult to fully rinse this stuff off of the surface. And so the microfiber towel is going to help pick up some of those residuals left behind. Uh, and that'll let us know if this is an actual knocking down of the wax or if it's just masking the wax's ability to really provide a hydrophobic surface. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, once the water starts going flat like this and the water starts sheeting off slower, it is difficult to identify of whether or not the wax has been fully removed from the panel. You could still have some wax remaining behind on the surface that's causing a little bit of surface tension. But even when I go and polish the paint out using abrasives and follow up with a panel wipe like, you know, car pro eraser or clean strips prep all or isopropyl alcohol, the water doesn't go 100% hydrophilic. It's not 100% flat. We still have some water sheeting left behind uh, after using abrasives. And so it's difficult to know for sure when we're trying to chemically remove waxes and sealants from the paint, whether or not that's fully removing them from the surface uh, with water behavior alone. In this clip here, I'm going to take Dawn Power Wash and spray it directly onto the healthy section of the Zymo Carbon Wax on the left half of the paint. Uh, and then I'm going to rinse it right off without agitating it into the surface. But I haven't noticed any paint damage as a result of using Dawn Power Wash on top of the surface like this. But you guys want to be careful. Anytime you're working with a stronger cleaner or degreaser or solvent or even isopropyl alcohol, uh, some of these products can cause damage on top of more fragile paint. All paint out there is not the same type of paint. You can have harder paint, softer paint, more fragile paint. Uh, some of these products can etch into the surface or cause some paint swelling or bubbling. So definitely test in an inconspicuous spot first before going across the entire car if you're working with these types of products. But I can see here after spraying power wash onto the surface and rinsing it right off, the Zymo Carbon Wax definitely does not like this stuff. Even when I don't agitate it, it is going to be able to hold up, but I can see it significantly started to damage the wax just by dwelling on the surface for a little bit. And so it looks like we finally found the product from Dawn that's going to be able to knock down some fresher waxes from the paint. I'm going to be doing a lot more testing with this in the future. Uh, and the soaps are just not going to be able to cut it, guys. I've tested a lot of different soaps on the market. And this Dawn Power Wash is going to be able to absolutely outperform them in its knockdown effect. Uh, you know, the Turtle Wax Max Power, the Purple Power Vehicle and Bolt Wash at heavy, strong dilutions of these soaps, Adam Strip Wash, Chemical Guys Clean Slate. They just don't have the concentration, the cleaning power to really knock down some fresher protectants. Now these stronger soaps can be better for cleaning off some, some heavier road grime on the paints, but I'm not gonna be using them as dedicated wax and sealant removers. The Zymo Wax is basically laugh the Duplicolor Grease and Wax Remover off the paint. This stuff does absolutely nothing to those waxes. The Rust-Oleum Wax and Tar Remover is going to be much stronger than Duplicolor. It's going to be able to knock down uh, some fresher products from the surface. But I actually prefer to work with Clean Strips Prep All as my all-around go-to product. And then, of course, Poor Boys World Strip Down. I've talked about this product a lot in my test videos. Uh, this is my benchmark product for testing the resilience of waxes and sealants in the short term. Uh, for my reviews. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave me your feedback in the comment section down below. I would love to respond to you guys. If you have any product suggestions, anything you want me to put to the test up against Don Power Wash, let me know in the comments below as well. And I think the pricing on Amazon at the release of this video, the pricing is all over the place with this stuff. So I would pick this up locally if you're interested in trying it out. It's, again, just under $5 at Walmart when I picked this up for 16 ounces inside of this bottle here. Uh, so be aware of that. Guys, again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming up, and I will see you guys in the next one.